Okay, so here we are looking at the canoe rack for the trailer. Um, you can see the overhang on the front. You can see the uh, canoe rack. Of course, it screws down where the ski screw downs go. You need to get a couple of washers for it. That's all. We've added some uh, some new tie downs in the corner here, bolted down to the steel of the trailer chassis. Um, our piece that leans forward here. You can see the metal bracket there, which uh, grabs the front of the uh, the shield. So um, there's really not much uh, weight on that, and um, so uh, got a slant forward there, so I could use those tie downs. Uh, lots of width there in the front. The canoe. So you got some good tie down locations either side. Coming around the other side. Of course, everything's repeated over here, including the tie down in there. So you can see the overall canoe length on the trailer. Coming to the back, she overhangs about a meter on the back. Not too bad. If we look at um, how we structured it on the back here, we've got um, the uh, little structure here braced. We got it bolted down through the two by two uh, galvanized steel frame of the trailer. Uh, this bar is just acting sort of as a washer. Got some extra braces here, braces up here. Um, of course, these brackets and we've got these still free for connecting uh, to the tie down. So not only can we tie down to this, but we can tie down to the frame. Um, so the overall canoe looks uh, pretty stable on there. Um, might be requirement to stick a little canoe pad underneath there, which I have in the garage. Um, this yellow stri uh, strap, by the way, was uh, just used to uh, bring the front shield back in alignment. Straightened it up while I was doing it, just hooked it on the front there, brought it to the back, winched her in, perfectly straightened up the front that had a bit of a bow in it. So that was my Monday after Canada Day project for my canoe. Thanks.